Otherwise, we're done for a spring ball. So knowing the hay's almost in the barn, how would you say this spring has gone for you guys? You know, I think we've got better with uh, kind of the cards we were dealt and the circumstances we were working with. I thought we did a pretty good job telling, tailoring the practices to meet the needs of uh, our team. For me specifically, getting Taysom the work that he could do in the settings and situations to help him get better. And then with bringing Stu back to help our offense and our team get better. Um, I feel good about you know, what we've accomplished these last five weeks. Some of the offensive players said that there <clears throat> may, be, may have been some complacency on the offensive side over the last couple of days. Have you seen that as well? Yeah, it was a little flat on Monday. and We, we were pushing hard to get it going today. Um, you know, I think they maybe a combination of maybe having felt, feeling like they had a little success, but then also playing in the stadium in front of the fans. And then you come back on Monday and it's kind of back to the, the normal. And, uh, so it's kind of a, you know, you could anticipate that a little bit and, and just try to push them, keep them going to finish strong. What's your Friday format going to be? I think uh, my understanding is similar to past Friday, being this, be in the stadium, kind of similar uh, setting and format to, to let the guys kind of compete in a game-like situation for a limited number of reps. Same kind of personnel deployment in terms of you want to protect and not protect that kind yeah, of Yeah, I mean, being smart with the last uh, – scrimmage you know the guys that are proven and we know um, what they're gonna do for us next year we don't want to put them at, at risk so it's more for that next group of guys that are trying to earn a bigger role uh, and a bigger job on the team to, to get out there and show what they can do when a kid like Tanner Manga comes back from a mission what does he need to do what do you tell him to do what are the key oh man right it's here? yeah just jump in the pool both feet and get going you know uh, so it'll be you know a lot of film work, uh, the mental side of it, as he works back with the normal missionary protocol that we do to get him back physically. Um, he gets back early June, so, so he'll have a, you know, a couple months uh, physically to get back into it as he, before he reports to camp. But the big thing is mentally, just, just really diving in, soaking up um, all the, you know, the playbook and, and to get to work. When will you get Tanner and Bo on campus? Uh, so Tanner will come uh, pretty soon after he returns. He'll get released and come back down that, you know, right away. Is that uh, June, you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets back June 3rd, so probably, you know, that next Monday or something. Uh, Bo will just report with all the other freshmen the beginning of August. But we're in a situation where we're already sending him film and cut-ups and playbook information. So he's already working on learning and studying that. Um, now and then he'll just show up with all the freshmen in August. So I was tempted to send Tanner stuff, but I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, just What's the situation with McCoy Hill? I know he's out. So, yeah, he's out. Yeah, he's out um, you know, from what I understand with his injury, it's they have a timetable, but it's one of those that you just have to kind of see. So uh, the, the early one was six months. And so we're just kind of, you know, as he gets back cleared to, to start working, then, then he'll start. You know, he's involved in everything mentally from that standpoint, but um, just, you know, can't really do much. Can't put much weight on that foot, so. Is it a fractured foot? Um, they put a screw in there. To, is, I know that, so, but I'm not 100% to be sure with that. When do you anticipate Taysom getting a full clearance? You know, my understanding was early May. So, you know, he's pretty close now. Um, but early May was kind of the time frame. And I think, you know, everything's been on schedule or, or earlier. So so that's my understanding. Would you say he went, his spring went as expected or better than expected for you? Um, you know, I kind of expected him. When I first got here, he was supposed to be out spring, and he did everything. So I kind of expected him to just, you know, what the heck, just miraculous recovery. And, uh, so he's done everything that that we anticipated with, uh, with, you know, no team reps and everything else, and, and it's been uh, been really sharp. Did you notice that Colby Jorgensen flipped from tight end to outside linebacker? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got some reps. Big guy, so yeah. it's hard to miss him when he was standing out there. He'd be a guy, yeah. Six, seven or something. I didn't notice much else, you know, with how he did, but you did notice just pre-snap. It was a big old guy standing out there at Sandbacker. Is that a permanent thing, do you think? You, I think they're trying it out right now. I think... Uh, um, man, I don't know. There's probably been five or six tight ends competing, and right now he's not getting the bulk of those reps with the first group because the other guys have kind of been emerging. So I think it's just 
you know, with his abilities, try him out at some other spots and see if he can have an impact uh, for us. You think of uh, with, with Taysom, Taysom Hill's injury, have you seen more uh, like his passing? Have you seen more of the government that's passing him than the other runs? <clears throat> yeah, because everything's been limited to standing in the pocket and throwing, um, which is, you know, what we want to do anyway. So that's worked out great. Um, and we've seen some nice development with certain throws throughout the spring. Um, the biggest worry has been everything seven on seven and drill work. So there's no rush and you can kind of fall into that. You know, you got all day in the pocket. Um, so just, you know, always emphasizing decisive, fast decisions and, and cutting the ball loose. And so, um, you know, we've seen quite a few really good steps this spring with certain certain routes, certain throws, and the timing of it that uh, we feel good about. Obviously, you just got to keep building through the summer and then through camp before our first game. All right. Thanks. Thank you, everybody.